Hello, welcome back, little ones. Welcome back, family members. Glad you all can make it back to another glorious day that we made, that the Lord has made. Excuse me, Lord. To another glorious day that the Lord has made. I hope you all having a beautiful morning. Uh, happy Passover. I don't celebrate pagan holidays, so we're not going to touch on it at all. Uh, I hope you all not celebrating those pagan holidays because the Lord thy God hates that. I'm not here for that purpose. We're going to get right into prayer. But I tell the truth all the time. It is, you know, it just comes out. Glory be to God. Go say a little prayer. Father God, we thank you for waking us up this morning to another glorious day that you made. We are to rejoice and be glad in it. And again, I say the glorious day that you made because you made everything, each and every one of us. Thank you, Father. And we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. If anything, if nothing else, you know that uh, we're grateful, Father God, because you woke us up this morning. There are many that will not open their eyes this morning. But we're grateful, Father God. But if you woke us up this morning, you allowed us to, to live another day, that means you have plans for us, Father God, because we're not promised tomorrow. So you have plans and we have a chance to get it right today. Today. Start your day off anew because it's a new day and a chance to do right. If you done wrong yesterday, uh, push past that. Repent. Pull forward. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps and keep it moving. All right. It's a new day. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father, for another glorious day. Father God, thank you for your angels that watch over us each and every day. All day while we work and play and even while we at rest. Thank you, Father God, for your holy angels. Thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus. If not for the blood of Jesus, we wouldn't have uh, access to you, Father. The only way to uh, the Father is through the Son. Okay? Through the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, that cleanses us from all our sins. And may we all live a life of holiness and strive for holiness as to not sin every day. To not sin. Okay. Strive for holiness. And Father God, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's also known as the Comforter. That guides us to all truth. Walks with us, talks with us, teaches us. And when we don't know what to say, he speaks for us. We thank you, Father God. And Father God, thank you for, the, for being that awesome God that you are. And you guide us, Father God. You talk with us. You teach us. You spend your time with us, Father God. You have much patience long-suffering, not easy to anger, and we all need those traits because Lord knows, oh boy, I was an anger, I was a bottle of anger is what I was. Mm. Well, you know, sometime in life, Father God, we, you know, you know it all, Father God, but we get hurt so many times and hit so many times. When I say hit, I don't mean physically. I sure hope not. We've been hit physically, but hopefully that was for correction by the parents, but nonetheless, it's like we get we get chastened by our father because he loves us. If he doesn't correct you when you're doing wrong, then you ought to question your walk. Because the father that loves his children, he correct them. He correct them. He certainly will. He will instruct us and teach us right. That's right. And um, and we thank you for the correction, Father God. Hallelujah. And, and also every day in our walk, we strive for holiness. We strive to do what's right. We're supposed to be like Jesus. We both get Jesus came down on this earth. Father God in the flesh came down on this earth. Walk, walk this earth to set an example for us how to live. So we're supposed to be living like Jesus. And we're supposed to be a reflection of our Father. So let's get it right. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you for another glorious day that you made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to tell our family members about you, Father God. And about your love and we're going to love on one another because you have loved us through our faults and our transgressions so shall we for our fellow man we're going to forgive not only forgive but we're going to forget we're going to move forward each day and strive it's, 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 you know and endure and endure we're going to endure and when somebody uh, persecute us or come at us we don't going to battle them it's all in your hands Father God we know you fight our battles what we're going to do is forgive them, and we're going to forget, and we're also going to pray for. We're going to pray for those that uh, purposely and deceitfully use us. 
You know, people do things to us on purpose, and we know it. You know that they're doing it to you on purpose, and you pray for them because obviously they're being tormented in some way, shape, or form for them to come at you a certain way or to behave a certain way. When people behave certain ways, it's not them. We all know that the Father has taught us. He gives Father teaches children that it's not that person. Yeah. It's what's behind the person. It's not the person. So when you see somebody and they're acting out, and you hear people say, he got the devil in him. Well, actually, he really does. Because he's being used by demons. The person is being used by demons. And demons run rampant. They're spirits. They'll get into you. So be, be, be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Be mindful. Father, see and know all things. But Father God, we say thank you. Thank you for your outstretched arm. Thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy. Thank you, Father God, for uh, you being who you are. You are our Father. Father Abba, and we love you. And we know you love us, Father God, and you always tell us to tell others how much you love us. And we will never forsake thee, Father God. We will never leave you nor forsake you. You are awesome. You're wonderful. You're majestic. You're uh, supreme. You're over, under, between. You're over any, any and everything. And everything was made by you and for you. And we say thank you, Father God. We give you all the honor, praise, and glory because it belongs to you and only you. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We, we bless you. We exalt you, Father God. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. In fact, you're, you're greatly to be praised. We glorify thy holy name to God. Be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And we praise our holy name. And we love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we seal this prayer to Father God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, with an holy kiss. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Thank you, our Father. Amen and hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, God is coming back. Yes, he is. Jesus is coming back. If you, if you want to be saved, and I think you should be, if you're not saved, please give your life to Christ today. Uh, you have free will. It's all up to you. But if I was you, I would give my life to Christ. No, come to know him, him, call on Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, and see the love, pure love, what love is about. Because see, man can't show you what real love is. Only God can. God is love. With that being said, have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back. He's coming for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. If you are ready to do what is right, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and I mean truly accept Him, then put your whole heart, receive Him with your whole heart, mind, and soul. Okay? And sincerity and truth. And say this prayer. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross and shed your holy sinless blood and was risen from the dead three days later after being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life, live a life of holiness, a life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Amen. And thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life and saving me. Listen, if you're serious about your walk, then the first thing you're going to do is repent for your sins. For your wrongdoing, you repent. That means you apologize to Father and let him know that you're, that you're sorry and why you're sorry. You already told him why you're sorry for uh, the sin against his word and against him. So you... Turn away from your sins. You repent for your sins first. Then you turn away from those wicked ways. That means you're not going to do them anymore. It doesn't mean turn to the left or the right and then you say, okay, now you go back to doing what you're doing. No, no, no. When we're in the world, we do things that are not of God because we're living in the world and we want, we live here, but we're not up here. 
Our home is in a heavenly kingdom with our heavenly father. And these vessels are holy. Because our father which are in heaven is holy. These are holy temples that we're walking around with. And the Holy Spirit lives within us. If we seek him in sincerity and truth, we can find him. Okay? And after you uh, repent for your sins, you turn from your wicked ways, that means you're not going to do them anymore. You be baptized, you find a congregation or, or uh, yeah, a church or a fellowship where the Spirit of Christ is there. If the Spirit is not there and they're not preaching the Word, they just have their ceremonies met up, set up and they don't not really into the Word and not teaching you, or they not, the, the Spirit of God, you'll know, you'll know. The Spirit of God is not there, don't be there. If these people are not giving you itching ears, giving you what you want to hear, all speaking about prosperity and all that, but they're not preaching the Word, don't go there. The God, God will direct you. So just pray and down on your knees and pray to the Lord and he'll guide you. Ask him any and anything that you need need to talk to the Father about. Don't let somebody speak for you. You speak for yourself. You have that. See, the relationship with God uh, is it is just that, a relationship. It's not a uh, a religion. It's a personal relationship. You can go to the Father anytime you need to hear something or know something. Go to the Father personally. Do not go to man to to, to um to find out your information. God is there. You know. Others say, oh, 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 he only talked to a certain one. That's not true. If he'll speak to them, he'll speak to you. If he'll speak to any of us, he'll speak to you. Okay? And you'll learn the way that he'll speak to you. He does it in different ways. We all different. He he makes it where we understand where we understand. How we do, so he'll do it in a way that you'll understand. Okay? Each and every one of us have a personal relationship with him. That's what it is. A relation, a personal relationship. Okay? And then after you find a church, you be baptized down in water or fellowship. Be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, I say, God bless you in your walk with Christ. Pick up that Bible and read it every day. The, the Bible is the word, it's the word, and the spirit and truth, and it gives life. You ought to live by what's in that holy scripture, okay? Read by, your life is, is how to live, it's through the Bible, and God will talk to you. He will. And always get, remember to repent daily. If you do something wrong, or you felt you did something wrong, and when the Father corrects you, don't bypass him. When he's convicting you, or you feel that something in your heart is not right, please take the time. And hear the Father, because he's talking to you. You'll feel it. Okay? God bless you. And I love you all with the love of the Lord. Okay? Okay. Yesterday, well, the Lord gave me revelation today. But um, what I want to do is read the story. Because I come on to read the story. And I noticed that, as of lately, YouTube is cutting off me at a certain time. They're not even letting some of the videos go forth for whatever reason. When I touch on a subject that is truth and they don't want to let it go forth, they certainly cut off my videos. So I'm going to move right along to the... We was on Leviticus. We're supposed to do chapter... The last chapter we did was Thursday chapter 9. And we were supposed to do 10 and 10 Friday, which they didn't let the video go through. Then I tried to do 10 and 11. They cut the video off yesterday. 